In this video, I'm going to be working out an individual integral. We're going to take a look at the integral of the quantity sine squared x plus 1 times the quantity cosine x plus 2 dx. Over here, I do have a half angle reference formula here, um, half angle formula with some algebra manipulations to get down to this substitution, which I will use later in um, later on in this problem. So in case um, you can't get to there, then there are the steps for that. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take these two binomials and actually multiply them out. So then I'm going to have the integral of first terms. I'll have a sine squared x cosine x, all right, plus outside terms. I'll have a 2 sine squared x. Inside terms, I'll have a cosine x. Last terms, I'll have a 2. Okay, so multiplying that out first. Now I'm going to take a look at all four of those two uh, terms individually as integrals. All right, these last two are going to turn out to be really simple. This is where I'm going to use the half angle substitution, and this one's going to be a basic u substitution. So let's expand this out and write it as four separate integrals. We'll have the integral of sine squared x cosine x dx plus the integral of, I'm going to go ahead and pull that 2 out in front there, so 2 sine squared x dx plus the integral cosine x dx plus the integral of 2 dx. Alright, so these are straightforward. Let's identify what we got going here. So these are straightforward integrals. Not going to be a problem to do either one of those. Okay, so straightforward. Okay, this one is going to be our half angle substitution. So half angle, just going to write half angle sub there for that one. All right, and then this one is going to be a basic U sub. So we'll treat each of these individually. Okay, so for this U sub right here, I'm going to let my U be sine X because that would be the inside function here. I've got a sine X quantity squared inside function of sine X. So I'm going to let my u be sine x and then when I take the derivative of both sides there I'll have a du is equal to cosine x dx and if I go ahead and solve for dx I'll have a du over cosine x equaling that dx. Okay so coming up here um, and showing some steps here I'm gonna have the integral let's do some substitutions here I'll have a u squared substituting that sine x there and then I'll have a cosine x. Substituting for the dx, I'll have a du over cosine x. Okay, so that's going to set us up real nicely to uh, cross those two cosines out, which is then going to get this down to the integral of a u squared du. All right, um, in this middle term now, in this one here, I'm going to do this half angle substitution. So we've got the two that's out in front, integral of 1 minus cosine 2x all over 2 dx. All right, and then um, these, let's go ahead and um, integrate those since they're going to be straightforward. Integrating cosine, I'll have a sine x here. Integrating 2 on that dx, I'll just have a 2x. Um, and then we don't need to put the plus c in until a little bit later. Okay, now um, this one I've already got the integral of 2x because I did the crossing out here. Now, if I pull a 1 half out in front here, that 1 half times the 2 there is going to make that go away. So then I'm just going to be down to the integral of, all right, and I think I'm going to break those up into two individual integrals. So the integral of 1 dx minus the integral of cosine 2x dx, and then plus the sine x and plus the 2x there. Okay, now let's go through and continue our integration here. On this one, it's going to be a straightforward integration. I can add 1 there and get a 3, so I'll have a 1 third u to the third, plus integrating right here on the 1 dx, that's going to give me an x integrating here. Hopefully you can do this one in your head. Um, let's go ahead and put that minus there. This is going to be another u substitution. All right, with that u being that 2x, which hopefully you're going to see that's going to be pulling out your 1 half. Okay, so integrating there we'll have the 1 half. All right, and then the integral of cosine is sine 
and then keeping that inside function what it is. All right, and then plus the sine x, and then plus the 2. And at this point, I've integrated um, everything, so let's go ahead and put that plus c on. And now substituting this u back in here, I'll have a sine x there. So we'll have a 1 third sine to the third x plus x minus a 1 half sine 2x plus the sine x plus 2x plus c. Okay, so all in all, not a bad integral. Um, after that initial um, multiplying this out, and then breaking it into the individual integrals, two of them being very simple. This one also being relatively simple with the u sub, little u sub there that I'm hoping I didn't have to show the work for. And then so probably the only trickiest part right here is making sure that that half angle substitution gets substituted in there. So um, definitely thanks for watching. If the videos are helping, um, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share with your friends. And of course, subscribe to the channel. Thanks.